Last year, we built an entire quarter mile flow trail in my backyard. During that process, I made some of the craziest and largest features I could possibly think up. Like this arrow jump, this huge step up, this other huge step up, a whale tail with two exits, and tons of other fun features. However, the thing about this trail that made it extra interesting for me was I'd never really ridden anything like it. So each time I made something new, not only was it the first time I'd ever made something like that, but it was also the first time I'd ever ridden something like it. <laughs> Yeah! Yes! 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 The downside about this is, anytime I got close to finishing a project, I would get super nervous because I knew I had to finally ride what I had just made. So I am definitely sketched out. Oh man, I'm nervous. I'm a little spooked here. A little bit nervous. Not a little bit, quite a lot nervous. Oh boy, this is gonna be sketchy. Woo, I'm nervous. Wish me luck. I am a little bit scared. Now even though that was the case, somehow I managed not to have any bad crashes on this trail except for a few close calls. Regardless, the nerves never really went away for any of the features. That's because I made a bad habit out of simply riding the feature just enough times to get a decent video out of it, and then I'd move on to building the next thing without ever coming back to ride the old stuff. So when I got to the bottom of the trail, instead of riding it a bunch like you would normally do when you make a trail, I completely abandoned it. I literally haven't stepped foot over there even once to look at it since our last build in December 2020. Not only because I'm just horrified to have to ride everything again, but I'm also not looking forward to seeing what kind of damage has been done after eight months. So we are out here at the subscriber trail and I have not been out here at all this year. I have no idea what it looks like. Um, you're walking through it and seeing it at the same time that I'm seeing it after I guess it's it's nearly been eight months since I've seen this thing, so I imagine it's quite overgrown. So yeah, let's let's just walk the whole thing, see what it looks like, see what we're dealing with, and yeah, let's just take a look. <laughs> Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's got like craters in it. That needs a lot of work. Landing for the step up will need a considerable amount of cleaning up. This all got grass. That's wild. You can't even see the jump. Look at the freaking grass. The whale feature looks insane with the grass surrounding it. Well, cool. Okay, so we've got our, honestly, things don't look like they're in that bad of shape. But yeah, this is wild looking. Look at the freaking, I love this, that it's like growing into it. I almost want to leave some of that stuff. Very neat. But anyway, guys, I'm excited. These features are huge. It's hard to convey how giant they are on camera, but they're really, <laughs> they're really big. It's significant to have in your backyard. That's for sure. But anyway, let's, uh, I guess we'll start from the top and work our way down. So let's get to rebuilding this trail. I'll see you at the top. Overall, the trail wasn't in nearly as bad a shape as I was thinking it would be in. As per usual, I assumed the worst instead of just going and addressing the problem. But that didn't mean we were gonna speed through fixing up the trail because I wanted to make this thing ride so well that I couldn't help but come and ride it. So my plan was to scrape and smooth the entire quarter mile of trail all by hand and to fix any features that felt bad in the past. For example, this roller here. It's always felt a little awkward because of its placement too far left of the trail, so we're getting rid of it. <laughs>
All right, so this part looks super good now. Uh, that'll all ride really smooth. But this next part coming up, man, there's just a lot of grass. Um, the ground's not that bad, but the berm is just, it just got vegetated, man. And same goes for the, the shark fin there. Just totally loaded up. It's pretty cool though, this has tons of moss on it. What's gonna be super rad about that is we're gonna take that little scraper, that Travis tool, and I'll be able to put like a real straight edge on the top side of that. So you'll be able to really see the definite edges on all of it. It'll look so cool. Trust me, trust me on this. It's worth the time, worth the time. Anyway, let's do it. So this big pile of weeds here is actually a dirt jump. Um, that used to jump onto the whale tail, but you'd always land like right on top of it. So it never really felt good. It didn't feel very flowy. So what I wanna do right now is just dig it up and move it right up against the thing so you can just roll the, the start of the whale. I, I think I might also, like we'll put like a little rock here or something so you could maybe boost over it if you wanted to. After this, I was totally done clearing the trail, but at the last minute, I decided to throw a couple scoops of fresh dirt on top of the step-up landing, because it was super rocky, and it's probably one of the funner features on the trail, so I wanted it to run really smooth. But now that I was totally finished, my nerves started going crazy knowing I had to ride the trail, because again, it had been eight months since I'd ridden this thing. So instead of just going for it, I decided to film my friends Dave, Elliot, and Carter riding it first. Elliot and Carter had never ridden this trail trail before and Elliot actually worked as a trail builder for a really long time so I was pretty curious to see what he thought of the trail. And this is so good. <laughs> I'm not like blowing smoke. That was so fun. It's so smooth. And the lip is good. That's I love the style of it too. Like <laughs> yeah, I the... rolled up on it and I'm like, all right, this is probably going to boot me, but it's so smooth. The boards aren't perfect. Uh -huh. It gives it flavor. The amount of stoke coming from Elliot pretty much eliminated any nerves I had for riding the trail. So I went and got my bike and finally rode the trail again after eight months of not riding it.
things took a major downturn. Don't get me wrong, I was having so much fun, like too much fun. The trail was riding better than ever, and all I wanted to do was ride it every single day. So, I did. One of the days though, I invited out my buddy Cody, who is an insanely amazing rider. Like, I didn't get to film him very much, but he manualed this deck, he was doing all sorts of stuff on the jumps, and he possibly was having too much fun as well, which ended up leading to him manualing the spinal gap, which was fine, but then this happened. Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa. Oh, hold up. Oh, anything hurt? <sighs> Ow, I hit my head hard. Damn. Ow. Got it on camera though. Oh yeah, you <laughs> Cody took a full-on explosive hit and came out of it like a freaking champ. Sorry, gentlemen. <laughs> Session's <Dude>. over. Well. <laughs> For that, definitely go follow this man on Instagram at Crow Bicycles. And while you're at it, check out Carter Shreds, too, because this nine-year-old can freaking rip. Minus the crash happening, the subscriber trail is running better than ever, and I have honestly not had that much fun in a long time. I've already got tons of fun ideas for the future, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you at the next build.